There is a lot of information on the internet about how to burn fat. Some of this is science-based, some of this is less science-based, but external sources, literature reviews, and anecdotes can only get us so far because each of our bodies is so unique. And that is why I love personal tools like Lumen, which I'm gonna be talking about today, that actually allow you to track what your own body is doing in real time. This device is a metabolism tracker, but essentially what that means is that it tells you in real time whether you're burning fat or carbohydrates. I use this device for 37 days and I'm really excited to get into the details of this device. But before I do, I want to take a step back. So why am I talking about fat burning? Fat burning and losing fat are not the same thing. You can be burning fat and in a caloric surplus and you can still be putting on weight or you can be burning carbohydrates and you can still be losing fat. So I first want to make that distinction very clear. This video is not about weight loss. The point of using this is actually to measure my metabolic flexibility. So what is metabolic flexibility? Metabolic flexibility is basically our body's ability to switch between different fuel sources like carbohydrates and fats based on the circumstances of the day. So in an ideal day, you might wanna wake up burning fat, but then the second that you eat breakfast, you wanna be switching to carbohydrates, which means that you are actually burning the food that you've just eaten. This ability to switch between fats and carbs is actually really important for our overall health. When we are metabolically inflexible, which means we cannot make that switch very easily, then we increase our risk of diabetes, of chronic diseases. We're more likely to have unstable energy and unstable mood. It can also cause us to put on excess weight. So metabolic flexibility is really a reflection of our overall metabolic health. And that's why it's been really interesting to learn more about my metabolic flexibility and understand which habits in my life are actually promoting my metabolic flexibility and which habits are not so much promoting my metabolic flexibility. So as I mentioned, I've been using this device for 37 days and I have learned a lot about my body, namely that the things that I thought you were supposed to do if you wanted to promote fat burning in your body are things that don't really work for me and the things that you're not supposed to do actually do work to help my body be more metabolically flexible and burn fat. But before I dive in, I do wanna mention I received this device for free from Lumen, which is really exciting because this is the first item that this channel, The Science of Self Care, has ever received to test. That said, this is not a sponsored video. I am going to be brutally honest about my review of this device and I definitely have some thoughts about who should be buying this device and who should definitely not be buying this device. So stick around if you're curious to hear about that. Also, by the way, I'm Robin and welcome to the Science of Self Care. On this channel, we talk about all things science, self care, and wellness. I always add citations in my videos so that you can understand where I'm pulling this knowledge from. So as I mentioned, I used this bad boy for 37 days and I actually kept a little spreadsheet of all my measurements. So every day I would measure right when I wake up, then I would have my matcha and go for my morning walk. I would measure after my morning walk, and then I would measure again after breakfast. And so ideally what I would wanna see there is fat burning in the morning, fat burning after a morning walk, and then carb burning after eating breakfast. Usually I eat a balanced breakfast with lots of carbs, fats, and proteins. And that is kind of a healthy, metabolically flexible day. Interestingly, after using this now for many, many weeks, I realized that a lot of things that we are taught to do in order to promote fat burning in our body do not work for my body and the things we're not supposed to do actually help my body burn fat. So for example, last night at 11 p.m., I was really hungry and I could tell my body needed some carbohydrates before bed in order to get a good quality night's sleep. Now the conventional wisdom is that if you wanna be burning fat when you wake up in the morning, you should not be eating carbohydrates late at night. But through using Lumen and studying my own measurements and habits every day, I've realized that's not the case for me, that the most important thing for me is that my body feels calm, relaxed, and de-stressed, and sometimes eating too low carb or fasting for too long can send my body into a stressed mode, which impedes fat burning and hinders my metabolic flexibility. So last night at 11, I had a mango, and I had oats with raisins and protein powder, and I suspect that this morning I will still be burning fat as I have learned works for my body. Let's do a morning measurement. The check-in process is truly enjoyable. You have to hold a little ball in a circle, which I will show you in a second. If you are doing this every day, you want to actually enjoy the process. Here we go. Hello. 
Hold your breath. Exhale in three, two, one. And just like that, I am at a one this morning, which is the lowest level, which means you are burning the most fat. I'm just amazed because at the beginning of this journey, I did not really understand how to set myself up for morning fat burning. And now I really know what works for my body. Another thing that I found that really works is my three morning supplements. I take all of these supplements in the morning because I find them very calming for my body. I physically feel calm and now i've also seen that on mornings where i measure before taking these supplements i'm usually a little bit higher than if i measure after i've taken these supplements and it's really cool to see that these supplements that i've intuitively started to incorporate into my diet because they make me feel good actually promote fat burning in my body so this has been a very interesting experience and i've solidified my intuition of what my body needs by having this live feedback through this device in real time i know what my body is doing how does this actually know if you're burning fat or burning carbs? So this device measures the carbon dioxide in your breath. And that is a proxy for whether you are burning fat or carbs because our bodies produce more carbon dioxide when we are burning carbohydrates than we do when we are burning fat. I do wanna mention that this is not the same as going to a laboratory to measure your metabolic state. In a laboratory, you can do indirect calorimetry which is where they will measure both your oxygen consumed and CO2 produced in order to get a respiratory exchange ratio. And from that ratio, they can get a really good picture of what your body is burning at the moment. And this only measures CO2, so it's more of a rough proxy than a true replacement for a lab test. That said, Lumen has done accuracy pilots comparing this to indirect calorimetry and it seems to be more or less reflective of what you would get in the lab but even if this device is a bit more of a guesstimation of what's going on in your body it is so cool that you can do it anywhere multiple times a day and that it just takes 30 seconds and it's so easy and a lab test you'd have to go to a lab and it would be costly and time consuming so i think this is a really nifty device but now let me get really honest i do not like the app that this is associated to which i know sounds contradictory so the actual check-in itself has a lovely user experience, but the app offers you a bunch of extras like nutritional advice and a daily meal plan, food tracking. I actually completely ignored all of the nutritional advice that was given to me in the app because if I followed that advice, I would be eating really low carb and I would not be feeling good in my body and I would also not be promoting fat burning in my body as I have learned, in my opinion, offering these broad stroke nutrition plans with a really personalized device doesn't really make sense to me. Obviously the nutrition plans are based off of your lumen results, but still what gets one person's body into fat burning mode versus another person's body is going to be very different. So I'm not a huge fan of the nutritional plans in the app. The second thing is that I think this is marketed completely wrong. This is kind of marketed as a beginner's weight loss tool. I think that is just not the case. I think this device is an intermediate self-discovery tool. So this is for someone who is not new to nutrition, is not new to their body, and who actually has been on their health journey for a while and who now wants to deepen their understanding of what their body feels like in a fat burning state versus a carb burning state and which healthy lifestyle habits actually promote metabolic flexibility versus someone who is starting off on their health journey and just is looking to lose weight and become generally healthier, then I do not think this device is the right device for that person. That person is far better off starting with eating whole foods, cutting out refined sugar, getting a good night's sleep, doing exercise very regularly. These things will help weight loss and they will also help improve metabolic flexibility in general. So I don't agree with the marketing of this. Have you guys heard of Brian Johnson, who is basically a tech entrepreneur turned wellness lab rat who is now trying to live to 120 by spending $2 million on creating the optimal health and wellness and longevity routine in his house. He has all of these devices. He's measuring his body constantly. He follows a very strict meal plan. It's all very extreme and it's not a way that I would personally want to live, but I do feel envious that he has so many devices to learn about his body and 
This is kind of my mini Brian Johnson tool, like the fact that I don't have to spend $2 million, but I can still get a rough estimate of what my body is doing in real time is so freaking cool. I will say it's not the cheapest. I think it's $349. How I think about health spending is how often I'm going to use something and how much benefit it will bring me. I know on my Aura Ring video, there were a lot of comments like the Aura Ring's not worth it. It's so expensive. Yeah when for me personally i spend money on my health the aura ring is something i use every single day which means it's costing me about one dollar a day to use and that will only go down over time i don't spend money on fancy clothes as you can see i don't spend money at bars i spend money on my health so you know i will always suggest kind of free health like exercising outside and eating whole foods and just getting a good quality night's sleep over fancy devices and expensive things but if you do have the money to invest in your health and invest in devices to help you learn about your body to me that's personally worth it so long story short i've been reminded that all of our bodies are unique for many people i know that low carbohydrate diets and fasting can actually promote fat burning for me it doesn't seem to be the case so cool that i was able to use this device to learn all of that about my own beautiful body. Let me know if there are any devices or other things you'd like me to test out. And also let me know if you have any health hacks to help your body burn fat. Is this something you've been experimenting with? I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.